in-person live and interactive classes. If you have any sort of doubt, you can ask to your teacher in the classes only and the teacher will explain everything to you in the classes. Right. Secondly, we give the personalized attention to each and every student. Because in our batches, there are maximum six students. It can be a one student batch or two student batch or three, four, five, six student batch maximum. So this will help you to understand any concept better. And you can ask your teacher without any hesitation. Hi, Kavita. How are you? Without any hesitation, you can ask yourself and also the teacher will uh, be able to keep an eye on you, right? How you are progressing, where you are lagging, what is your problem, where to improve. So, accordingly, you can improve yourself. Hi, Jasmine. How are you? Okay. So, coming to the uh, third thing that we have a very good dedicated academic mentor team who continuously track on the student's progress, how you are progressing again uh, in your school, in the SwiftLearn classes, in the homework you are doing properly or not and in which uh, particular uh, parameter you are lagging so this will help you to get the feedback accordingly and this feedback will definitely help you to improve yourself right now coming to the syllabus this is very important that we cover the syllabus as per your school examination schedule it may happen sometimes that you are having some of the topics which we have not done it yet so we will do do those topics first which are coming in your school examination and then we will move on to the rest of the topics so this type of custom request generally we handle if you need any sort of doubt classes or extra classes for the revision of any uh, topic which is coming in your school exam you can tell it to us we will do a the classes accordingly and we will do the uh, revision right now coming to the different key features of SwiftLearn as you already know that SwiftLearn is a lot bit different from any other platform any other online online platform so how it is different you have to know this right so first of all we maintain the detailed progress report of each and every student sub particular student ka progress report humare paas rehta hai and you will get this progress report jaise aapke school mein bhi ptm hota hai udhar se bhi progress report aapko milte hain to over here also you there will be the ptm parent can interact with us directly they can share their feedback directly if they face any problem they can definitely tell it to us and we are always there to solve the problems right and you will get the progress report jahan sab kuch bahut detail mein rahenge jaise aapka understanding capacity aapka competitive approach aap kaun si topic mein already prepared ho kaun si topic mein aap lag kar rahe ho everything you are doing the homework properly or not in a particular time how much time you are taking for doing the homework so everything all these parameters will be given in the progress report and this progress report will help you to improve yourself and do better yeah uh, coming to the second thing that is the sat which is the swift learn academic test series which happen in every sunday from uh, 9 am to 5 pm you can uh, apply you can do the test over there and your rank along with your name will be given on the leaderboard coming to the very important part that is the practice test you as you already know that a practice makes a man perfect so aapka study ho gaya aapka swift learn ka classes ho gaya aapka book padhna ho gaya textbook and all school ka kaam bhi ho gaya abhi aapko kya karna hai you have to practice the question answers right so we have the unlimited practice test where you will be able to get all the different types of questions jaise aapka board exam ya fir school exam mein aate hai objective and subjective ye sare tarike ka question aapko mil jayenge in this practice test you will be able to practice question answers again and again if no uh, if you get less marks in one practice test do it again and again there is no limit okay so practice test will help you to know the concepts better and perform better okay so either uh, for the subjective test particularly mai bolungi ki this is uh, sometimes it happens that you already know what are the concepts or you already have the knowledge but you sometimes miss the key words or diagram or if you see the um where to add the examples or anything like that so we have a very good dedicated uh, teacher team who will definitely help you give you the tips and tricks how to write the subjective answer according to the different marks right so three marks ke liye kitna likhna chahiye five marks ke liye kitna likhna chahiye so as uh, according to that you will get the tips and tricks this will help you to score better marks and definitely score full marks right that is our main focus and uh, our main focus is also that you know more 
get no more mo uh, knowledge about any of the topic whether it is uh, science or maths or english whatever it is okay so to experience all these things what you have to do is you have to book the free trial class quickly book it whenever you are free and see how the classes are going on over here and then enroll your name in our regular batches hai na to regular batches mein aap jab aa jaoge to hum directly meet karenge and we will interact we will do the classes regularly right and if you have any doubt you can ask me yeah so uh, for those who have not subscribed our channel please subscribe it now and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any of the update of the upcoming sessions and do like comment and share also okay so that your friend will also get the same benefit chalo let us now move on to the chapter which is there in icsc board syllabus of class 8 so this is a very simple very easy chapter as well as very 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 interesting chapter that is nothing but the diseases and first aid so this is the very first session of this chapter let us now start with uh, the disease and the first aid so uh, let me tell you just me and kavita and many of you i can see that you were uh, listening to my session so if you have any sort of doubt please ask me in the um, chat box and in between also i will ask you some of the question please try to give the answer in the chat box hi shatish so try to give the answers in the chat box so as you already know who will give me most of the answers correctly he or she will be the student of the session and i'll write your name on the screen at the end of the session okay चलो तो हम स्टार्ट करते हैं डिजीज एंड फर्स्ट एड तो व्हाट एक्चुअली डू यू नो अबाउट द डिजीज और एनीथिंग अबाउट द फर्स्ट एड एनी आइडिया मैं पहले आप के हिसाब से सुनना चाहती हूँ कि डोंट गिव मी अ बुक इश लैंग्वेज और अ प्रॉपर डेफिनेशन ऑफ वट एवर इज गिवन इन योर बुक जस्ट टेल मी वट इज डिजीज आपके दिमाग में क्या आता है डिजीज ये वर्ड सुन के यस yes. अच्छा शतीस फर्स्ट एड इज नथिंग बट द वेन एवर एनी बडी इज हैविंग एनी फेसिंग एनी एक्सीडेंट द वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग विच वी आर गिविंग दैट इज द फर्स्ट एड ओके फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट द वेरी फर्स्ट ट्रीटमेंट विच इज अ वेरी बेसिक टाइप ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट which we can give that is the first aid and then definitely the patient has to be transferred to any nearby hospital or uh, yeah hospital yes. okay so anything about the disease can you tell me so let us see what we are going to discuss today we will basically going to discuss the uh, health what do you mean by health when can we call a person as healthy person so that first we will discuss then we will move on to the different categories of the diseases okay so what are the different categories of the diseases two main types of diseases we will see that is one is the communicable disease second one is the uh, non communicable disease these are the two main things which are the different agents which actually carry the different germs from one person to another this also we will focus on okay yes namami okay uh, disease is any harm to our body good good uh, this is a very good answer yes anything when we are getting anything like uh, which is abnormal to our body we can call that i am suffering from any disease right so when my body is not properly functioning or any performance uh, any sort of system is not performing properly then we, we can say that we are suffering from any sort of disease yes do you agree with me yes so let us see how this disease can be caused so let us start with a very simple um, uh, story a very nice story right so do you have any best friend in your school yes everybody tell me your uh, the name of your best friends yes let me see i also have the best friend in my school okay in my school days definitely dekho idhar som and rom they are the two best friends in the school ye itna acha friend hai ki wo school mein jaate bhi ek sath hai study bhi ek sath karte hai play bhi ek sath karte hai sab kuch ek sath ek sath karte hai okay but when it comes to eating the eating habit it is totally different from one to another okay acha tejas jasmin tejas is your best friend okay great great acha namami mahi is your best friend good cool 
ओके सो क्या हुआ ये सोम एंड रोम दे आर टूगेदर दे डू ऑल द वर्क बट वेन इट्स कमिंग टू देर ईटिंग हैबिट इट्स टोटली डिफरेंट क्या ईटिंग हैबिट में डिफरेंट है देखो ये सोम ऑलवेज ईट वट एवर फूड इज गिवन बाई हिज मादर वो मादर जो भी खाना घर में बना के टिफिन में देते हैं तो लंच टाइम में वो वही खाते हैं ओके नाउ रोम इज अ लिटिल बिट डिफरेंट रोम नेवर ईट द फूड दैट इज गिवन बाय हिज मदर एंड ही ऑलवेज गो टू द कैंटीन स्कूल के जो कैंटीन होते हैं उधर जाते हैं और एवरी डे ही यूज टू ईट द जंक फूड डू यू थिंक दिस जंक फूड इज गुड फॉर हेल्थ या लेट मी सी हु कैन टेल मी जंक फूड आप भी खाते हो ना हम्म रोज खाते हो क्या नहीं ना प्लीज डोंट ईट द जंक फूड एवरी डे यू कैन टेक इट फ्रॉम लाइक वंस इन फिफ्टीन डेज और वंस इन टेन डेज मैक्सिमम इससे ज्यादा नहीं बट ट्राई टू ईट द फूड विच इज हेल्दी विच इज मेड इन योर होम ओके सो दिस रोम नेवर ईट दैट टाइप ऑफ फूड he always go for the junk food and take the food the fried food from the canteens pizza burger dekho kya kya kha rahe hain yes to kya hua ek din suddenly rom's stomach starts paining okay aur rom ka mama kya kya mama leke gaye ek doctor ke paas and the doctor tell him that you are suffering from some infection in your stomach yes तो क्या होता है वंस इन ट्वेंटी डेज आप खाते हो वेरी गुड जसमीन यस यू मस्ट डू लाइक दिस यस ओके तो जंक फूड हमारा सबका फेवरेट होता है थोड़ा थोड़ा खाना चाहिए वंस इन ट्वेंटी डेज और फिफ्टीन डेज नॉट मोर देन दैट ठीक है ना चलो अभी डॉक्टर ने बोला कि स्टमक में इन्फेक्शन हो गया तो डॉक्टर फर्स्ट क्या पूछा उसको फर्स्ट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर ऑफ द डॉक्टर वॉज Have you ever eaten the junk food or do you eat the junk food every day? तो रोम ने क्या बोला Yes, doctor. I eat. What to do? I love it. ना Yes. तो you also love the junk food, ना Okay. Your mom make the food at home. Good, just mean good. So रोम ने बोल डॉक्टर ने बोला रोम यू शुड नॉट ईट दैट जंक फूड एवरी डे यस तो Why you should not eat the junk food every day? Because it is not good for our health. So, your health will be like this. You will be satiated, right? Right? Hi, Anushka. Yes. And Rom said, "Okay, health. So, what do you mean by health, doctor? Healthy? How is it? And health? What is it? How will I know what is health? What do you think? Yes, Harjit. Hi, Harjit. So, what do you mean by health? Anybody can you tell me? क्या है हेल्थ और या फिर हम कब बोल सकते हैं कि कोई पर्सन हेल्दी है या फिर नहीं यस हेल्थ इज समथिंग विच विल इंक्लूड द थ्री मेन पैरामीटर्स ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर वट आर द थ्री मेन पैरामीटर्स फर्स्ट physical health you have to be physically fit yep second is mental health mentally stress free no stress okay and thirdly social well being so you have to be very good fit in your society also with everybody you should not quarrel with each other you should maintain a very good relationship with each other whether it is your relatives or your friends or your teacher or whatever it is yes mental and physical well being very good Nam namami so mental hai physical hai uske sath sath social well being is also very important yes mental okay so mental to hona hi chahiye definitely so when a person is totally fit from uh, his or her physical path मेंटल पार्ट एज वेल एज सोशल पार्ट तो कोई टेंशन ही नहीं है एंड देर विल बी अ टोटल यूनिटी एंड हार्मनी विद इन द माइंड बॉडी एंड सोल देन वी विल कॉल दैट पर्सन एज अ प्रॉपर हेल्दी पर्सन यस तो ऑलवेज कीप इट इन माइंड द थ्री मेन पैरामीटर्स फर्स्ट इज फिजिकली फिट 
second mentally fit no tension no stress no fear no anxiety no depression nothing and third is socially fit no quarreling with your friends always make a very good relationship with everyone okay so these are the three main parameters which will help you to keep yourself healthy to abhi ye teen parameters se agar koi bhi ek parameter na ho to kya hoga आपका आपके अंदर कोई जॉर्म नहीं है कोई डिजीज नहीं है सच पर आपका बहुत टेंशन है मान लो राइट तो डू यू थिंक दैट यू आर हेल्दी नो इफ देर इज टेंशन और स्ट्रेस देन ऑल्सो यू आर नॉट हेल्दी सो फॉर बीइंग हेल्दी यू हैव टू बी टोटली फिट इन ऑल दीज थ्री पैरामीटर्स क्लियर है यस नाउ ये जो हमने बोला कि डिजीज this chapter is all about the disease and the first aid so what do you mean by this disease first name maine already answer aap se mil gaya namami already said ki disease is something wrong in our body definitely that is the condition in our body when we feel something discomfortable ya fir not comfortable kuch uh, pain jaisa ho raha hai ya fir uh, headache ho raha hai ya fir stomach ache ho raha hai distress ho raha hai health problems aa rahe hai even in extreme condition it may even lead to death okay so this is known as the disease okay hi ranjana how are you yes ओके सो डिजीज इज नथिंग बट एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ डिस्कम्फर्ट डिस्ट्रेस हेल्थ रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम वेन देर इज एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ सच थिंग हैपनिंग इन आवर बॉडी वी आर नॉट इवन प्रॉपरली डूइंग आवर रेग्युलर वर्क मान लो कि आपका आपके अंदर अगर कोई डिजीज आ जाए तो विल यू बी एबल टू डू योर स्टडीज योर डू यू वॉन्ट टू प्ले विथ योर फ्रेंड्स दैट टाइम यू समटाइम्स फील ना कि आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू प्ले टू डे एम नॉट फीलिंग वेल Yes, I don't want to study today. My stomach is aching, है ना तो ऐसा आते हैं That means that person is suffering from certain diseases. Okay, very good, Anushka, and very nice answer given from uh, given by you. That is particular कोई abnormal condition जो negative कोई effect हमारे body के ऊपर देते हैं That we can call it as the disease. Yes, ना मामी, I teach in the swift learn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chalo. So this is all about the disease, right? And I hope that all of you have already subscribed our channel, है ना? Subscribe कर लिया ना? And also press the bell icon ताकि if आपको ये notification भी मिल जाएंगे before thirty minutes so that you can attend my sessions, right? Okay. Chalo. तो health क्या है? Disease क्या है? हमने already देख लिया. अभी ये देखो कि diseases कैसे spread होता है. Okay, so if you think about the diseases, can you give me some of the name of the diseases? Any example? देखो, अभी जो हम viral disease है, depression है, वो mental disease है, okay? So physical disease, mental disease, any sort of so like any sort of disease we can see. Yeah, yeah. In fact, COVID, हाँ, huh? definitely COVID is a viral type of disease. Definitely, Anushka. Okay. Okay, you are having fever, so get well soon, beta. Yeah, COVID nineteen just mean very good viral disease. Yes, namami headache, cough. Okay, headache, cough. क्या है ना वो थोड़ा सा disease का तो नाम specific इधर नहीं है. तो हम बोल सकते हैं कि ये सारे symptoms हैं. Okay, fever, anemia. हाँ, बिल्कुल. Yes, fever, asthma. Okay, fever भी रहा हम. कंसिडर करेंगे एक सिम्टम जैसे क्योंकि फीवर बहुत सारी डिजीज में आ सकते हैं देख लो कि डेंगू हुआ तो फीवर आते हैं कोविड नाइन्टीन हुआ तो फीवर आते हैं मलेरिया हो गया तो फीवर आते हैं फीवर कभी भी आ सकते हैं वी विल कंसिडर दैट एज अ सिम्टम हार्ट अटैक ओके Thank you, Ranjana. Diabetes is very good, na mami. Okay, I'm getting a lot of diseases. Chalo. So, you have already know that what kind of diseases can happen. We will now see how these diseases can happen. Now, on the basis of how these diseases in uh, communities may spread, honge, depending upon that, we can basically divide the diseases into two main types. What kind of disease? One is the communicable disease. Second one is the non-communicable disease. Okay. So, communicable disease can be what? Non-communicable disease. These two no words. Se aapko kya pata chalte hai? Dekh lete hai. Who can give me a correct answer? Communicable can be what? 
what do you mean by the word communicable and what do you mean by the word non communicable to wahi hoga okay yes communicable ka matlab or non communicable ka matlab communicable we can see the diseases which spread communicable matlab jo acche se communicate kar rahe hain ya फिर तो हम इधर स्प्रेड वर्ड को uh, हमारा की वर्ड समझेंगे एंड वी विल से डिजीज विच वेरी इजीली स्प्रेड फ्रॉम वन पर्सन टू वन आदर राइट सो यस वेरी गुड कम्युनिकेट यस सो स्प्रेड फ्रॉम वन पर्सन टू वन आदर दो डिजीजेस वी विल कॉल एज द कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज और अभी ये बताओ कि नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज क्या होगा फिर नॉट स्प्रेडिंग Yes, the disease which do not spread from one each other. Yes, जो एक person से दूसरे person तक spread नहीं करते then they will come under the non-communicable disease. Yes, Satish. Yes. Okay, non-existent का मतलब आप क्या बोलना चाहते हो बेटा Okay, non-communicable they do not spread from each other. अच्छा आप आ, अभी कुछ एग्जाम्पल दे सकते हो मुझे कम्युनिकेबल क्या हो सकता है नॉन कम्युनिकेबल क्या हो सकता है एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ एग्जाम्पल कैन यू गिव लेट मी सी एक एक एग्जाम्पल दो ठीक है नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज ओके कम्युनिकेबल हा बिल्कुल क्विकली क्विकली गिव मी द एग्जाम्पल्स कम्युनिकेबल हम ये बोल सकते हैं ना कोविड नाइनटीन क्योंकि दिस इज गोइंग फ्रॉम वन पर्सन टू वन अदर यस द वायरल डिजीज ओके वायरल डिजीज कम्युनिकेबल हो सकते हैं हाँ कोविड नाइनटीन देखो जसमिन भी सेम बोला ये काफ कोलेरा अच्छा हाँ हाँ बिल्कुल कोलेरा पर अभी पता है सतीश ये कोलेरा ना अभी इंडिया ना भी कोलेरा फ्री है मतलब इंडिया में कोई भी पेशेंट कॉलेरा का नहीं है ओके सो वी कैन कंसिडर इंडिया एज अ कॉलेरा फ्री कंट्री नाउ चलो अभी नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज बोल सकते हो अच्छा हेपेटाइटिस भी हो गया ओके यस इट कैन स्प्रेड फ्रॉम वन अनादर अच्छा अभी थोड़ा सा एग्जांपल बता दो नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज का क्विकली क्विकली ओके सतीश हैज ऑल्सो गिवन अच्छा नमामी हैज गिवन अनादर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कम्युनिकेबल मेजर वेरी गुड सतीश यस डायबिटीज गुड कैंसर हार्ट डिजीजेस यस दे नेवर स्प्रेड फ्रॉम ईच अदर राइट ओके Very good heart diseases. Anything? Jasmine, Anushka, very good heart diseases. Or कुछ? Or कुछ? Kidney का disease भी हो सकता है. Any sort of kidney infection, kidney diseases हो सकते हैं. Diabetes, cancer तो आपने बोल ही दिया. Yes. So these will all come under the non-communicable diseases because they do not spread from one person to another, right? Yes, kidney stone. Very good, very good, Namami. Yes, kidney stone also never pass from one person to another. Now let's move on to the proper definition and the proper examples, है ना? तो you already have an idea now. Communicable, non-communicable क्या है? तो पहले हम non-communicable देख लेते हैं कि this disease is never trans uh, transmit or never spread from one person to another. So those diseases will be non-communicable. और आपको आपको ऑलरेडी पता है बहुत सारे एग्जाम्पल्स किडनी स्टोन आपने बोल दिया वेरी गुड कैंसर डायबिटीज क्रॉनिक किडनी डिजीजेस क्रॉनिक हार्ट डिजीजेस एल्जाइमर्स कैटरक्ट ऑस्टियोपोरोसिस दे नेवर विल बी स्प्रेड फ्रॉम वन पर्सन टू अनादर बट इफ आई थिंक अबाउट द कम्युनिकेबल देन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज क्या होता है दे स्प्रेड फ्रॉम वन पर्सन टू अनादर या फिर सिर्फ पर्सन टू पर्सन नहीं एनिमल टू पर्सन भी ये स्प्रेड हो सकता है ओके सो बेसिकली ये जो कम्युनिकेबल डिजीजेस है दीज आर एयर बोन हो सकते हैं वॉटर बोन हो सकते हैं थ्रू सेक्सुअल कॉन्टैक्ट हो सकते हैं पर दे जनरली स्प्रेड द डिफरेंट जर्म्स एंड व्हाट विल बी द डिफरेंट जर्म्स द जर्म्स कैन बी द वायरस बैक्टीरिया प्रोटोजोआ फंगस एनीथिंग व्हिच विल गेट इनसाइड द ब्लड और एनी अदर बॉडी फ्लूड एंड दे विल शो देयर 
नेचर एंड डेफिनेटली वी विल गेट दैट टाइप ऑफ डिजीज राइट चलो हम अभी देख लेते हैं कि ये सारे वायरस बैक्टीरिया जर्म्स को बायोलॉजिकल टर्म में क्या बोलते हैं ओके सो द बायोलॉजिकल टर्म विच इज गिवन टू ऑल दिस डिजीज कॉजिंग जर्म्स ये डिजीज कॉजिंग जर्म्स भी हम कह सकते हैं इसको ओके द डिजीज कॉजिंग जर्म्स which cause the diseases when they get inside our body they are known as the pathogen so pathogen is the biological word which is given to the disease causing germs which can be your bacteria virus protozoa fungi anything right ye char uh, different classes se hum bol sakte hain yes i generally teach namami i teach uh, Uh, science till class eighth, the whole science phase chemistry bio and nine tenth में biology, okay? चलो तो देख लेते हैं कि what kind of diseases they can uh, spread तो कोरोना वायरस कोविड नाइनटीन स्प्रेड करते हैं human immunodeficiency virus जो एच आई वी वायरस एड स्प्रेड करते हैं यू ऑलरेडी नो सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट डिजीजेस विच कैन बी स्प्रेड टू ऑल दीज डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पैथोजेंस तो पैथोजेंस क्या है फ्यू गेट अ क्वेश्चन फॉर वन मार्क आई होप दैट यू विल बी एबल टू राइट इट राइट येस वेक्टर्स आर ऑल्सो बेसिकली पैथोजेंस या ओके वेक्टर कॉजिंग डिजीज भी हम बोल सकते हैं पर पैथोजन और वेक्टर में डिफरेंस क्या है द वेक्टर्स और आर बेसिकली द कैरियर्स वो मेनली कैरी भी करते हैं और डिजीज कॉज भी करते हैं पैथोजन मेन जर्म है जो डिजीज कॉज करते हैं ओके सो दिस पैथोजन आर नथिंग बट द ऑर्गेनिजम्स विच कॉज इज द डिफरेंट डिजीजेस ओके सो it can be through any sort of medium it can be through the skin contact ya fir bodily fluid ya fir airborne particles se ho sakte hai water se ho sakte hai feces se ho sakte hai and uh, even if anybody has a uh, coughed or like sneezed uh, in uh, like some um, places and unknowingly you just touch that surface and if you just touch your mouth or any other portion of your body then also the germ can get inside your body to aise touching a surface se bhi ho sakta hai yes okay very good so coming to the most common pathogens generally hum dekhte hain ki parasites protozoa uh, fungi virus bacteria these will all the different types of pathogens which can cause the different types of diseases okay so all this pathogen generally kaise hamare body ke andar jate hain through the air water or anything like that yes so after going inside our body wo kya karte wo they somehow manage to avoid our immune system ओके okay. तो वो क्या करते दे टेक ऑल टेक ऑल द रिसोर्सेस फ्रॉम आवर बॉडी एंड स्टार्ट डिवाइडिंग रेप्लीकेटिंग उसको हम रेप्लीकेट कहते हैं ओके सो दे स्टार्ट मल्टीप्लाइंग और रेप्लीकेटिंग विद इन आवर बॉडी एंड दे स्टार्ट रूलिंग इनसाइड आवर बॉडी ओके एंड दिस इज हाउ वी गेट द डिफरेंट साइंस एंड सिम्टम्स एंड डेफिनेटली आवर बॉडी ऑर्गेन्स विल बी इन्फेक्टेड बाई सर्टन टाइप्स ऑफ जॉम्स Yes, up to this much clear. Yes, chalo. So let's now see what are pathogens with the help of a video. A pathogen is a microorganism that can cause disease. In this video, we are going to discover what they are exactly, how they can spread and cause infection, and how their spread can be reduced or prevented. Pathogens may be viruses, bacteria, protists, or fungi. They are just microorganisms that can cause disease. Bacteria are microscopic. Even the biggest are only 10 micrometers long, which is minuscule. Once bacteria find their way into the body, they release toxins that make us feel ill. Examples of bacteria infections are cholera, typhoid, food poisoning, and gonorrhea. Although bacteria are very small, viruses are much, much smaller again. They are among the smallest organisms we know of. 
viruses not only enter your body, but they enter into cells and reproduce inside cells. They reproduce hundreds of thousands of times and eventually cause the host cell to explode. The virus then passes out through the airwaves, bloodstream or other route and can spread through populations. Examples of viral infections are the flu, influenza, measles, mumps, the common cold and AIDS. Of the thousands of species of fungi, a few can cause human diseases. They can cause minor skin conditions all the way up to life-threatening diseases. Some common fungal skin conditions are athlete's foot and ringworm. They are contagious and can pass from person to person through direct contact or less commonly through contact with common surfaces. There are some opportunistic fungal diseases that can take advantage when the immune system is lowered for other reasons such as cancer or AIDS. Protists are single cell organisms. Some protists can contaminate food and cause amoebic dysentery, which is an intestine infection and results in severe diarrhea. Protist pathogens can also be parasitic. They live in or on other organisms and cause harm. Malaria is an example of a protist pathogen that lives in the blood and is transmitted by mosquitoes. Watch the second part of this video to see how pathogens are spread and how their transmission can be prevented. Yes, so you have already got an idea ki how, what are the different agents, what are the different pathogens and how they generally get inside our body and cause the different types of diseases, right? Now, let us see some of the names of the agents which uh, causes the different type of diseases. Just to uh, let you know, you don't have all this to remember, but just one or two names try to remember, like the hum human immunodeficiency virus, the HIV virus which cause the AIDS right so coronavirus you already know you have seen this type of virus in television and many other different um, pictures right then staphylococcus this is one type of bacteria vibrio cholerae which causes the cholera this is one type of bacteria okay then uh, you can see go for pneumococcus pneumonia jo cause karte hai, okay so these are basically the different types of uh, disease causing agents or we can say that as the different pathogens which cause the different types of diseases inside our body now what are the different ways how this communicable diseases can be caused so you already know about the pathogens which are the different germs or the disease causing uh, organisms which cause the different diseases abhi ye different uh, diseases kaise cause hoga yes communicable diseases how will they cause how will they go from one person to another? Quickly tell me if you already have an idea. Yes. How the communicable diseases will go from one person to another? Yes. Through the air. Okay. Acha, you. Salomenal, no. An Anushka, you want to say Salmonella typhi, which causes the typhoid? Yes, very good Satish, yes, by air, water, food, physical contact of infected person, great. So, we will see this video on how the disease spread is and definitely then we will move on to what are the different contacts by which the diseases will be spread from one person to another. In the first part of this video, you should already know that pathogens are disease-causing microorganisms. So how are pathogens spread? They can spread in many ways, by direct contact, by water or by air. Different pathogens are spread by different mechanisms. So malaria is transmitted by mosquitoes, whereas cholera is a waterborne disease. HIV is transmitted through bodily fluids, and athlete's foot is transmitted by direct contact. How can transmission be reduced or prevented? Depending upon which disease you are trying to reduce transmission for, depends upon which method you need to engage. 
Simple hygiene measures can reduce or prevent the spread of many diseases, including flu and the common cold. Make sure you wash your hands properly, keep common surfaces clean, and use a tissue to sneeze into. Did you know there is a best way to wash your hands? Hands washed thoroughly with soap have significantly reduced numbers of bacteria. Over 350,000 people die every year from food poisoning, which can be prevented by washing hands and utensils properly with clean water and cooking foods to a safe temperature to kill the bacterial pathogens. To reduce or prevent cholera and other diarrhea causing pathogens, communities need access to safe drinking water adequate sanitation so that dirty water is not exposed and basic hygiene needs such as washing hands properly, boiling water properly and keeping surfaces clean. Malaria and yellow fever both have mosquitoes as a vector and Lyme disease uses ticks. A vector is an organism that has an active role in transmitting pathogens from one host to another. To reduce or prevent infection from vector-borne diseases, the vectors need to be controlled or humans need to protect themselves against the vector, such as wearing mosquito repellent and wearing long sleeve clothing. Insecticide and spraying techniques can be used to reduce the population of the vectors, but this is trickier and more expensive. If a disease is highly contagious, such as rabies, people may need to be isolated to prevent the infection spreading to others. Vaccinations are also an option for preventing and reducing pathogens. Vaccinations involve putting a small amount of inactive or dead pathogens into the body, which stimulates the body to produce antibodies against a specific pathogen. This enables the body to be prepared to attack or destroy the pathogen if they are infected in the future. You can learn more about vaccinations in our What are Vaccinations video. So from this video, you should know that pathogens are disease-causing microorganisms and can be a bacteria, virus, fungi, or protist. They are transmitted in many different ways, and depending upon their mode of transmission, determines how they can be controlled. Okay, so you have already got an idea how they are transmitted from one person to another and definitely how the diseases are caused. So I've got a lot of answers from Madhu. Yes, very good. Madhu, you have given the correct answer that is uh, diseases, the communicable diseases can uh, be spread by the air, water, food and physical contact of the infected person. Very, very nice. So you can see over here the spreading of the diseases is going with the physical contact. Yes. So anybody, if they have any sort of skin diseases or any sort of diseases, infectious disease. So when you were shaking your hand or any sort of like uh, if you were using any sort of uh, same towel or same napkin or same type of thing. So from there also, you can get the type of germ in your body. So be careful about that and definitely try to wash your hand, sanitize your hand all again and again okay before giving the yeah, like before eating the food to be very specific so there are certain things like the um, hepatitis b virus the staphylococcus uh, bacteria these are generally spread through the air through the physical contact right very good kartikeya yes uh, covid also definitely yes measles also very good yes so coming to the sexual intercourse so there are the different diseases which can be transmitted from one person to another through the sexual contact it can be any sort of sexually transmitted diseases like the gonorrhea it can be the hiv these are going from one person to another along with that the hiv virus can be spread through the needles always be very careful when you are going for giving uh, blood in any sort of blood donation camp or like in the hospital or somewhere like that try to see that the injection which is given inside your body for taking out the blood that should be very much new okay so the same syringe should not be used for many person okay so those should be use and throw type of syringe be very careful about it okay so that the any sort of this diseases will not be uh, spread from one person to another let's move on to the contact with the contaminated surface as you already know coronavirus aise hi hota hai, right so you should not touch any of the objects when you are going outside and always try if you 
even touch any object try to sanitize your hand and definitely before eating or giving um, any accidentally also if you just uh, want to put your hand inside your like on your face or something like that before that please wash your hand with soap properly okay so influenza virus the coronavirus these can be spread from one person to another by touching the contaminated surface this is very very difficult uh, this is very very uh, like be very cautious about it okay next is through the fecal or the oral transmission so anybody coughing or sneezing so the different germs can go from one person to another definitely from the food also water also if they are contaminated with any sort of germs they can also get inside our body and it can include the hepatitis a virus okay yes Yes, measles will also come definitely, Kartikeya. Measles will also come under the communicable disease. Okay. Coming to the air droplets. So, uh, like in case of the tuberculosis, when it is happening in the lungs, okay, and a chicken pox or any sort of uh, viral diseases, okay, viral cold and cough also, we should wear the mask. Otherwise, the when the air droplets, anybody is sneezing or coughing, the germ is also coming with the contact with the air right the air droplets and it can go to the another person and the normal healthy person will get that germ right and he or she will be infected so like this also it can spread from one person to another so over here the pathogens can cause a number of communicable diseases that range in a uh, very much severity also sometimes yes so some of them are the some viruses which cause this type of diseases are dengue virus okay so dengue is the disease which is caused by certain virus common cold flu hepatitis a b c d e these are all the different types of hepatitis they will all they are all the different viral diseases okay measles measles is also viral okay yes satish very good so yes madun anemia is the non-communicable okay it cannot spread from one person to another uh, it will uh, anybody will get the anemia when uh, he or she is not having that much amount of iron with his foot okay when the iron is not there in a, an appropriate amount in the foot then the hemoglobin will not be able to um, synthesized inside the body in the blood okay and he or she will be suffering from anemia it is totally non-communicable got it madhu Chalo. Now let's move on to the bacterial diseases. There are the different diseases like uh, bacterial meningitis, the Lyme disease, uh, gonorrhea, cellulitis, uh, cellulitis, which happens inside the mouth. Okay, the mm, then gonorrhea, tuberculosis. These will all cause due to the bacteria. Next, fungal diseases are the thrush, the ringworm, the uh, athlete's foot, the jock itch, the vaginal yeast infection, these are all the different fungal diseases which causes due to the different, uh, different fungi. Next, the different parasites, giardiasis, toxoplasmosis, the trichomoniasis, then malaria, intestinal worm, pubic lice, these generally they are due to the different parasite, mainly the protozoa, which causes all these types of diseases. Now, Rome asked the doctor, how do we get to know that somebody is suffering from the diseases? So, we have already know, got to know ki what are the different types of disease and all. So, we have to whether we are suffering from any disease or not. Yes, any idea? How do we know? With the help of the different signs and symptoms, we will get to know the different signs and symptoms, right? So, what do you mean by symptoms and signs? These are nothing but the different abnormalities in our body. And this will help us to know ki kuch na kuch to garbar hai. Jaise, uh, symptom is subjective, which you will be able to understand ki ha, this is a symptom. It, we are getting this type of symptom, back pain ho raha hai, fatigue ho raha hai, vomiting, ya fir nausea, ya fir fever. These will all uh, be the different types of symptoms. Or signs kya hai? which will be visible from outside. Anybody can observe from outside. Jaisik 
स्किन रैश हो सकता है कोई लंप हो सकता है ट्यूमर हो सकता है ओके सो यू विल एनीबडी कैन सी इट फ्रॉम आउटसाइड एंड दे विल कम टू नो कि ये है साइंस वेरी गुड सतीश साइंस एंड सिम्टम्स आर द डिफरेंट थिंग्स व्हिच विल हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू वर गेटिंग एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ डिजीजेस ठीक है तो लेट इट बी अप टू दिस मच लेट इस नाउ सी सम ऑफ द फैक्ट सम ऑफ द वैल्यू बेस्ड क्वेश्चन एज वेल एज सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन व्हिच कैन कम इन योर एग्जामिनेशन तो इधर देखो वन स्टोरी इज गिवन लाइक रिया केम टू द क्लासरूम अर्ली ड्रैग्ड हर टेबल एंड चेयर एंड सैट इन अ साइड of the room okay and uh, there we, uh, she sat a uh, very much far away from rest of his uh, her classmate okay now in between she was putting handkerchief over her nose and her friend nancy when asked to lend a pen she refused why did it happen yes my questions are what is the reason for putting handkerchief over the nose kya ho sakta hai Yes, and why did she sit separately? Sorry, classmate, के साथ नहीं बैठ के अलग से क्यों बैठा? Yes, quickly tell me. And also tell me why did she refuse to give a pen to her friend? Yeah, हो सकता है कि रिया और नैन्सी बहुत अच्छा friend है और इसलिए नैन्सी ने pen मांगा, right? But रिया ने दिया नहीं. क्यों नहीं दिया? Any idea? क्विकली गिव मी द आंसर आपको क्या लगता है क्यों क्यों ऐसे ऐसे बिहेव क्यों किया रिया ने क्लास में जाके या फिर स्कूल में जाके आप ऐसे करते हो कभी नॉर्मल डेज में नहीं करते राइट इफ यू फील समथिंग रॉन्ग देन डेफिनेटली यू विल ऑल्सो डू दैट यस वेरी गुड वेरी गुड मधु शी कैन हैव कोल्ड डेफिनेटली शी वॉज सफरिंग फ्रॉम कफ एंड कोल्ड एंड दैट इज वाई शी वॉज कीपिंग द हैंड करचिप अगेन एंड अगेन ओवर द नोज यस Yes, communicable disease है उसका Very good, Satish. So cough and cold तो communicable होता है These are like when uh, she will sneeze, the germ may go to the air droplets and through the air droplets it can go to uh, some other uh, person, right? Yes. Why did she sit uh, separately? Because of this to avoid कि उसका कोई friend का उसके लिए अगर कोई काफ एंड कोल्ड हो जाएंगे तो इट विल बी डेंजरस तो नहीं होगा नहीं होना चाहिए दैट इज वाई ही सैट सेपरेटली एंड वाई डिड शी रिफ्यूज टू गिव द पेन बिकॉज पेन में भी तो जर्म्स रह सकते हैं ना तो अगर दिस पेन इज समथिंग लाइक शी इज राइटिंग एंड द जर्म इज देयर इन द पेन एंड इट इज गोइंग टू सम अदर पर्सन तो डेफिनेटली द जर्म इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू सम अदर पर्सन Yes, तो ये communicate हो जाएगा the disease will spread from one to another to avoid all these things. She behaved like this. तो रिया ने अच्छा किया या बुरा किया Is it good? Is it a good behavior or a bad behavior? It's good. Yes, because she already know that she is suffering from some diseases, and that is why she uh, don't want ki uska classmates be suffer kare. That is why she did like this. Okay, by the time you turn seventy five, we will suffer from one hundred fifty colds, different types of colds. Yes, you already know that. So different studies have concluded that each of us, uh, each one of us, um, usually suffer from two to five colds a year. Yes, good behavior, very good, Satish. Yes, Anushka, kya doubt hai? Okay, so let's now quickly discuss some of the question answers. Which answers you will give it to me? So my first question is: Dengue is caused by what? डीजी दैट इज ऑल्सो अन आदर सिम्टम ये कभी भी कभी के लिए हो सकते है इट कैन बी ऑफ एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ डिजीजेस कम्युनिकेबल भी हो सकता है नॉन कम्युनिकेबल भी हो सकता है ओके लो प्रेशर के लिए भी हो सकता है बहुत लो प्रेशर ओके डेंगू इज कॉज बाई प्रोटोजोन नहीं सतीश थोड़ा सा सोचो आई नो यू ऑलरेडी नो दिस आंसर किसके लिए होता है प्रोटोजोआ या वायरस और वॉर्म या फंगस यस अनुष्का हैव गिवन योर आंसर 
इट इज फॉर द वायरस ओके डेंगू वायरस के लिए हो सकते हैं सेकेंड क्वेश्चन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज यस विच वन ऑफ देम इज अ कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज कौन सा है it will be measles right measles are communicable which can go from one place to another one person to another very good seema very good anushka it's the virus very good madhu okay so second question ka answer hai measles third describe pathogen and a pathogen in an organism that causes the disease can you name any pathogen yes very good anushka second one answer was measles sorry anushka uh it was not allergy it will be measles okay yes so what are pathogens they are the disease causing enzyme uh, disease causing organisms right which can carry the different diseases from one person to another okay so pathogen ka aap ek example bol sakte ho ki plasmodium vivax which carry the path, uh, like which is a protozoa which causes malaria okay yes चलो सो हाउ द साइंस एंड सिम्टम्स आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ईच अदर दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू कैन गेट फॉर टू मार्क्स यस सो साइंस क्या है इट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव मीन्स एनी बडी कैन सी इट फ्रॉम आउटसाइड ऑब्जर्वेबल होगा एंड सिम्टम्स क्या है दैट इज द सब्जेक्टिव द पेशेंट हु इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम दैट विल बी एबल टू फील द सिम्टम okay and symptom always remember that it is not specific for a proper disease ye ho sakta hai headache stomach ache uh, fever back pain any pain okay so this can be the different symptoms or signs hoga bahut specific understood yes so we have studied about the health the different types of diseases communicable and non communicable diseases mainly we have studied about how the communicable diseases are spread from one person to another what are the different disease uh, disease causing germs pathogens kya hai aur wo hamare body mein kya kya diseases cause kar sakte hain वेरी गुड अनुष्का सो आज तो बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट मुझे ऑलरेडी बहुत 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 आंसर दिया तो थैंक यू वेरी मच टू ऑल ऑफ यू आज कौन है स्टूडेंट ऑफ द सेशन हाँ ओके लेट मी राइट ऑल ऑफ योर नेम्स वन बाई वन ठीक है मधु हैज गिवन मी मेनी आंसर्स सतीश हैज गिवन मी मेनी आंसर्स Anushka has given me many answers from the starting they are there with me and given me many answers Seema also at the end uh, joined and given me many answers okay thank you very much Jasmine why not Jasmine also given me many answers so thank you very much all of you so all of you are the stars of the class and student of the session you already know so let us see uh who will be the star of the session in next uh, day so yeah seema i have written your name also <laughs> okay <laughs> chalo so thank you very much everyone for staying uh, with me till the end and definitely we will meet in the next session so before going let me again remind you to subscribe our channel okay and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any of the update of the upcoming session okay so do not forget to like comment and share also we will again meet it was fun okay great so we will discuss a lot about the topic in the next session also so thank you very much take care bye